Hello, hello everyone. We are back to Code Tover 2023 and we are now on day three, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, so on the last two days, October 1st and October 2nd, we did a scaffolding of the flow. So we had our API specification. We did reported this into Studio or any point code builder. And we basically generated all the flows automatically by scaffolding our API specification into there. So now let's see how to rescaffold our flows once we have changed something in the API specification. So I have first, I'm going to do this in Studio. I have here the project that we generated on day one, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the API specification that we used. So let's open this up. Here we have it. And as you can see from Exchange, we also have this published and we are on version 1.0.0. So we're going to change that and see how to redo all of the flows and things. All right, so I'm going to make this smaller because we don't need to see the code right now. Maybe instead of using a put, I want to do a post now. So for example, now here in put, I have 200 OK response with the to do um, and the body of to do. Pretty simple. So let's just move that to post first. Add a new response, 200 OK, body, this is going to be a to do. All right. And then body, this is going to be a to do. All right. Pretty simple. Now we can, yeah, now we can remove this put. There you go. So now we have only a post instead of a put. We still have the get and the delete. So we still have five methods. If you remember from the last two videos, we have get post and get put delete. So now we're going to change that. And because this is actually going to break the whole thing, we will have to change the version and publish. So now we have asset version to 00, 0 and API version 2. This is stable because otherwise we cannot use it. And this is more information. Let's click on publish. There we go. It is published. And now if we go to our exchange, we can refresh this and we can now see. Uh, or not. Oh, here <laughs> now we have two zero. So let's select that. Why can I not select it? Ah, there you go. So now we are on version two and version two zero zero. Now, if we go back to Studio and we zoom in here, you can see that I have my to-do API version 1.0.0 right now. This is the zip of the RAML that is being imported. We can see it here. Um, so now we need to change this to do uh, to be one, uh, sorry, 2.0.0 instead of 1.0.0. So right there, let's right click on it and let's select here my to-do API. And then we have the option to generate flows or to update the version. Let's click on update version and it will open this window that says APIs right here. And here we have our actual version. So if we click on this refresh button, it should work, but it's not working. <laughs> so maybe there's something with my account. Um, let me check. So any point studio settings. And so you go to any point studio and inside you go to authentication and there you will have it. So right now I'm using a Martinez 23. I can remove the other one. Actually, I'm going to remove the 23 again and just do it again. So if I click on add, it will open this thing and I will just sign into this again. All right, there we have it. Apply and close. And now let's try this again to see if that was a problem. So maybe you're also having this problem. And yes, that was a problem. Now you, we can see here that there is a dot, a blue dot here, and it says that there is a newer version 200. So now I can select this. And now I see here my to do API 100 new version available, update version. Now it says 200. 
and 200 here. So let's click on apply and then apply and close. Oops. Do you want to scaffold my to-do API specification? Yes, I do want you to redo the stuff. There we go. Um, again, apply and close again. And now if I check this, now it says my to-do API version 200. So now if I check my flows, oh, I have the put to-do's ID, the lead to-do's ID, get, get, and post and post. So it basically didn't delete my put because it probably doesn't want to mess with what I already have. Um, but I will not be using this anymore. So I can just remove it. Oops. There we go. And now I have my post to do API, which is currently what I'm going to be using from now on. And I can also see it from here. I can see that I have delete, get, get, post, post, because I ended up using two posts now, right? I have get post and get delete post. So I have two gets, two posts, and one delete, which is exactly what I have right here. And that, my friends, is how you rescaffold your flows in any point studio. All right, that's all then. I hope this was helpful. Bye.